And welcome everybody to announcements this Friday, uh, this Friday, Monday, February 21st. It's the last Monday you have school this year. So it's like the last, well, in February. This is the last Monday in February for our seniors they'll have in high school. It's kind of fun to think of it that way. Um, let's do the Pledge of Allegiance to start this thing off. And even though today is a live set of announcements, I had a couple of students who missed the recording last week, Friday. So I'm going to have a couple of guest speakers today as well. So standing up, hand on my heart, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are your guest speakers. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm here to advertise for uh, ticket sales for our Spring Fling, formerly known as WPA. Uh, we'll be selling tickets uh, on tomorrow throughout all three hours of lunch and then for $10 at, in the cafeteria and $15 at the door. Thank you. Wait, can I ask you guys one more question before you go? One more question. Why did we change the name so everybody knows? We changed the name to Spring Fling to stay like to be gender neutral. To be gender neutral. Thank That's you. That's right. Hi, I'm class officer Win U for the senior class. We've organized a ski trip at the Sundown Mountain Resort in Dubuque, Iowa. It's on February 27th, $75 if you need to rent out equipment or $50 if you already have some. You can rent out snowboards. There was a Google form set out Ballard, so you just need to fill that out. And then you can make a check or pay in cash and drop it off in the main office or give it to one of the class officers. And the due date is on February 23rd before 3 p.m. And the officers would be Wesson DeWolf, Jaden Frederick Williams, Yasmin Hers, or myself, Win U. And then the money is going towards our prom. Hi, I'm with Washington Yearbook, and we're going to inform you about the yearbook sales that are going on right now. Um, buying a yearbook is a good way to support Washington's uh, yearbook staff and the school in general. In the yearbook, senior and baby ads are available. So if you want to purchase one or you know someone that need, wants to purchase an advertisement, you can talk to Ms. Bukai or Ms. Leedham. Ms. Leedham's room is 224, and Ms. Bukai is in room 119. You can go there with regards to any questions about the yearbook and to find the QR code for yearbookforever.com, which is where you can buy your yearbook. The price does go up after spring break. So um, if you want to place an ad or buy a yearbook, now is a good time. Thank you. Thank you, student speakers. Now let's get to the bread and butter, our daily announcements. I want to start off with this sign right here. You probably can't see the whole thing, but it is actually on the doors of every restroom in our building. This sign is our sign saying that as of today, our bathrooms have reopened. However, this is with the understanding, ladies and gents, that we are all great citizens going forward. So I'm going to read briefly what it says. It says, back by popular demand, the bathrooms are open again. Thank you for doing the following in the bathroom. One, completing your bathroom-related tasks and returning back to class immediately. So not loitering in the bathrooms. Leaving all bathroom items that are attached to the walls and ceilings, a.k.a. intact. Flushing only appropriate items. Using soap in a matter it was exclusively intended to. Leaving the bathroom as good or better than you found it, having only one person per stall. And last but not least, and equally important to everything else, reporting immediately to the main office anything that is not in alignment with bathroom use. That includes vandalism, loitering, fighting, substance use, sexual misconduct. We need your help, one, making sure that the bathrooms are used for only intended purposes, and two, that if people are not using them properly, that we we don't allow that to continue okay we need everyone's help with this it says at the bottom failure to do so will likely result in some bathroom closures for the remainder of the school year so we're opening them back up because we know that you as students have the ability to learn many of you have been doing the right thing all year 
Some of you have made life a little more difficult for others because we've had to close the bathrooms multiple times due to vandalism and misuse. We are trusting every single person in our school as a warrior to do the right thing. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, or issues with the fact that we're taking this approach to trust you to do the right thing, or if you feel as though you're not trustworthy to do the right thing, please let us know so we don't lose bathrooms for the remainder of the year and we go back down to not having them all open again. That power rests in you, the student body's hands. If you see something, say something. If you are in the restroom, don't do something, but just use the restroom. Thank you in advance. And thank you, Mr. Nichols, for nodding along with me all the way through that. Now, uh, other announcements. Today is a B-Day. And for those of you interested in signing up for women's tennis, there's an informational meeting on this Thursday at 3 p.m., in the cafeteria, you will get more information on the season, hear about practice schedules for the first few weeks of the season. We ask that you attend. FCA Bible study will be taking place this Tuesday at 7 a.m. in room 118A. Everyone is welcome. The Iowa State University College Tour is scheduled for March 2nd. So again, this is for seniors who have a 2.75 or 2.7 GPA, are in good standing with all their classes, and they've applied to Iowa State by the time of this visit. And remember, these are going to be prioritized for people who plan on attending in the fall but haven't been able to visit yet. Space is still limited, and you need to see Ms. Mangrish for any questions that you may have. Sports, remember, we need to make sure you're signed up for them. Track starts today. Tennis, soccer, golf start next week. Or I'm sorry, in, in, in a couple of weeks on the 14th. Chromebook announcement, as you already know. Again, charge. Make sure you bring your charger. Don't leave it in the cold. That's all that stuff. FAFSA, we've talked about that a ton. Mangridge is your lady, room 117. Transcript, remember the bit.ly link is available to all our teachers. It's bit.ly slash CWR transcript. Also can be found on posters all over the place. GSA will be meeting in room 119. Art Club will be meeting in Ms. Schmelzer's room. And both of those meetings are two-day after school. And the vending machine will be off from roughly now to 150. And then they'll come back on then. Oh, and it says do not use bills in the vending machine that are bigger than ones or fives. Those are the only ones that can be used. Uh, first day of sports season is today. Uh, we have some pretty big wins, uh, both at the speech competition and sub-state basketball game. Uh, we'll try and shout out some of those young people later on. Uh, maybe next next announcements, maybe tomorrow. Birthdays, though. Lorraine Hatfield, Braden Plaggy, Zoe Sackett, and Cade Gibson. Their birthdays were today. Weekend birthdays were Emily Oldorf, Carson Helly, Trajan Sane, Anna Tarfstead, uh, Tarfstead, um, a Mariana Booker Crump, Jonathan Garcia, Christian D. Wolf, and Posh Mina Alfredi. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the birthdays. Congratulations to all those folks. Breakfast in, or breakfast will ignore. We'll go to lunch, which we got stuffed cheese sticks today with marinara cups and sort of vegetables, burger and fries, sub sandwich, and chef salad. And of course, we got pizza as per usual. That concludes our announcements today, ladies and gents. I was going to give a couple of shout outs to some of our Warriors of the Week. I'm going to start adding those in. And uh, I think I'm going to take this show back on the road once March begins. So I will see you all soon. Enjoy your rest of your day. Take care. And remember, people, it's always a great day to be a warrior. I'll see you later. I'm going to